me see what I got here. You could use um, a um, agar roots, a e g i r roots, and that will give you a heal cast. That will, sorry, that will, oh yeah, the quench cast. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. I just it's, gear. I'm ready, then. Oh, bye, Matt. I think I've already looked at the types of different magic, and none of it had anything to do with revival. Yeah, there's none. But I'm still looking now. I'm on the items. Ooh, a pendant with a rainbow motif protects the wearer from confusion. That's what I need to put on Noctis. Are you looking that up or are you searching? I just looked, I have it. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna take off for it. I would honestly use it on your other characters, you know? Because Noctis doesn't kill himself, you know, with confusion. They kill him. But hey, it's still better than nothing. Yeah, but a lot of the time I can't heal myself because I'm too confused and I keep running into the enemy too. Mm, okay, good point. Um, it has that you could use... I wish I had I'm more than sure one you. rainbow pendant. That would really be helpful. Those are just treasures. Mm. So treasures obviously are something different. And I keep looking at this free cast, hoping that it's freeze cast. What? Do you okay, have anything? Love you, Matthew. Ooh. Love you. Do you have anything to um, slow down time? Mm, looking. Okay. Um, I also just saw stop cast as well. If you use fossil shell or fossil wood, it says something about stop cast. If you want to look that's at that as well. No, that's not it. Undergarment sewn from a dark. Blessed fabric that wards off evil reduces darkness damage. Uh, ward off flame. Enhances vitality. But yeah, again, if you have a fossil shell or fossil wood, it, you may be able to create a stop cast. Okay, an hourglass that glitters with gold and protects the wearer from stop. Nobody's been using stop on the NS. Um, safety bit. A charm made by worshippers of the particular king of yore protects the wearer from sudden death. Nobody's used sudden death on me. Oh, okay. No, I'm not talking about, um, you, um, I'm thinking of using stop on the enemy, not on yourself. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am gonna switch that on. Ribbon prevents almost all statuses. No shit. If you want, I could also um, look up um, how to get more ribbons or rainbow, whatever you said, since you said you wish you had more. Oh, uh, what was it called now? Rainbow something or other. Um, safety bit. Yeah, that's all it gives me. At most that I could find is a Holistic stop cast, damage. which you could probably use to stop your enemies for a moment. But past that, there is no revival magic. Fire, ice, and lightning, and 
darkness damage significantly. Rainbow frog, rainbow pendant, rainbow toe, rainbow chocobo, so I'm gonna go with pendant. Press card to ward off the cold. Enhance spirit. Lightning. A healing oil that soothes troubled minds. Enhances spirit significantly. You could purchase it for 3,000. Um, at different places. Side quest, uh, Professioner's Protege, Yellow Frog, Hunter's Quest. And they're even also dropped, but the chances of that being dropped is a low chance. Yeah. But um, you could buy it for 3,000, which is actually kind of cheap, in all things considered. Oh, well, unfortunately, I'm in inside the dungeon. There's nowhere to purchase anything inside the dungeon. Yeah, I know, but obviously, well, let me ask you this: What really has been killing you off in the dungeon? What has been preventing you from the biggest thing that's been killing me is that confuse yeah. when they when they do that ability and it hits everybody and everybody becomes confused. I become confused as well. So I'm I'm already dying, and then I keep throwing myself into the middle of them so they can keep hitting me. And which then is... what about the final boss? Is that pretty okay or no? Because you said you made it there twice. Um, I've I've been killed both times by the boss. I haven't figured out what its ability is or what I need to prevent it. Um, okay. I'm thinking I want to put something on him to reduce damage. Uh... Well, you could purchase the item at Leticium or whatever. You could do a side quest from the Professor's Protese or... Well, Protese. again, I can't do any of that stuff because I'm stuck inside of the, um, the dungeon. But you could remember it for doing it when you get out um, of the dungeon. What I need to look up is this boss from this particular boss uh, dungeon and find out what it what it recommends to prevent you from being killed by it. Well, that's what I was going to look up after the pendant. <laughs> well, I got... I can do this. I'm actually going to stop the music because it's starting to become a background annoyance. Like, I like music, but I can only handle it for so many hours in a row before I want to just, you know, kill things. Okay. Internet. I'm going to remove that. Oh, I'm all itchy on my side. There we go. Google. Final Fantasy 15. Um, mark. Took this person five minutes. Tower menace. Right, it's a giant snake thingy, right? Um, no, it's like um. Giant dragonish kind of sort of thingy. Okay, so okay. I've got yeah. that. Um, Fire, dragony thingy. Three no wind wings. up Lord Vexos from the Justice Monster Five Machine in Alphysia. Of one element and forty nine of other two elements plus a wind up Lord to get flare, freeze, and electron. If I knew its name, I would be able to just look up the specific enemy. Interesting. Okay, so it says... Mm. I didn't even know you could do that. I'm gonna try it. Um, some of this guy. And some of this guy. And then... Is there any way to increase your health past 99? Uh, as far as I know, 99999 is the max. Because I know I see break damage limit, I believe. Wind up. Hmm. 
This person is fighting the last boss solo. All other party members are dead, whether they were not dead when he entered or whether they just died and he says she's not to revive him. Either way, he's relying on himself solely to defeat the boss, which is kind of an interesting tactic. There's a great risk in it, but at the same time, and also you're the only one doing damage to the boss. But at the same time, if it, for example, does status effects, then you don't have to worry about the other characters also hurting you. Hmm. Also matters about this cur this person's level. I mean, he could be on new game plus plus for all I know. Doesn't seem like it though by the damage he's doing. And then Blizzard Fire, Blizzard Fire, Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard Fire. So that's interesting. You can actually combine your different types of magic like fire and blizzard and stuff like that. If you have all three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what I want. Leave me alone. I'm trying to leave. Um, but yeah, you can actually uh, combine, like, if you combine all um, ice, fire, and lightning, it creates an, an item called a wind-up. It creates something called electron. With potency 338. Oh, 300? Mm hmm. And how did nobody tell us about that, considering that there's only three elements and nobody has really tried to combine all three? Uh, I oh, didn't... well. No. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, it's just weird. Like it, it just shocked me. Like I was just reading up about it, and I'm like, oh, really now? So there's this really powerful magic that you can create, and nobody knows about it. Uh, it needs this. Oh, that's why it needs the ascension node, ultimate power crafting. And. Good great sword and a good pair of daggers. I used. Ribbons, even when I was looking up the magic, it didn't, even uh, when I was looking up the magic, it didn't really say anything like that either. Two ribbons and safety bits. Okay, so the boss is a fire creature, and it is weak to swords, daggers, and ice. Well, it's fire. Of course it's weak to yeah. ice. So that's... And those mind things, those things that really piss me off all the time? It's fire. Mm -hmm. Um, they they I need to use fire against them. Mm. 